vascular malformations are disorders of the uh, developmental stage of the vascular tree during birth, basically. There's kind of two types that are divided into hemangiomas. Uh, hemangiomas are true vascular tumors. That does not mean that they are cancer or malignant in any way. They are just rapid growth of vessels. Um, hemangiomas are called port of wine stains sometimes, and they are typically seen in children. Most of them don't need any sort of intervention, um, and they will go away with hormonal changes. The second kind are fast flow and slow flow. The symptoms can be pain, skin changes around the vascular malformation, growth of the extremity or the bone where the vascular malformation is located. The slow flow lymphatic and venous are very, very uncommon and we don't tend to see very many of them. The rapid flow vascular malformations are a combination of artery and a vein. And the reason why they are fast flow is because they have arterial flow going through them. Again, very uncommon. Arterial venous malformations are typically felt as a thrill, so a little kind of buzzing around where the vascular malformation is located. And they can be in multiple different sites within the body. And you may not see any symptoms of it till you are in your 20s or 30s. Most of the vascular malformations require two types of studies. Um, venous arterial duplex, which can be performed in our office, uh, and we can determine what kind of flow the vascular malformation has, meaning is it a slow flow or a fast flow. The second study, it's an MRI, and that can kind of determine the anatomy surrounding the vascular malformation to determine if it's something that actually needs to be treated. If they do need to be treated, there is extensive endovascular, minimally invasive uh, approaches that we can try. Some of them are injections with alcohol, for example, to kind of just kill the cells within the vascular malformation and get it to be smaller. And in very, very extreme cases, surgery is necessary to actually remove the vascular malformation and all the arteries that feed into it. In general, people will do very well with vascular malformation, so there's no significant urgency to getting care unless you start having symptoms.